God. Well, the deal takes effect in the 2016-2017 season. However, the networks and the NBA aren't the only winners. LeBron James also scores on the deal. Well, Mike Bako, sports editor for the DailyNational.com, joins us now to explain. Mike, welcome. And I'm Thank going to you. throw you not a ground ball, but I'm going to give you a pass. All right, here okay, we go. I'll take that back. Look, this is a fantastic deal. Mm -hmm. But the but uh, I think it was NBC had to act really quick on this also because and they were still in the contract, but they, they were trying to get ahead of everybody else mm -hmm. uh, and securing a deal earlier. I assume that they had to spend a heck of a lot money more than they would have had they waited for their deal to expire. Well, well you look at the landscape of what's going on, NBC Sports, Fox Sports, trying to make a play, take it away from ESPN, Turner, ABC. So they see who's, who are the stars right now. LeBron James, Kevin Durant. These are the biggest names right now in sports. They're seeing their ratings rise. And consequently, the rate that they have to pay to keep these entities also have to rise. Well, see, that's the big question because, you know, a lot of the playoff games you'll see on some of the cable stations, mm -hmm. but you're not going to see on the main uh, TV stations you're anymore. Not. But you've got a resurgence now. Why are the ratings increasing so much for the NBA? Be because they're, it's a star-driven league. It's one of the few leagues where, uh, short of quarterbacks like Tom Brady and Peyton Manning, they're the real star drivers. You look at baseball with Derek Jeter at exit stage right. There's real no star power in baseball. As great as these playoffs are, people are still hankering for seeing LeBron James moving from Miami to Cleveland now opening up a, a whole new market, a resurgence in that market. But I got to ask you a question, though. In, in, in the wake of all these scandals that are permeating, mm -hmm. say, the NFL and stuff like that, you know, you get one or two that hit the NBA in a bigger way, a resurge. How might that affect uh, the revenue that comes in for, the, for, the, for these deals? Hasn't hurt the NFL. Play, t people are still watching. Ratings are still high. There was a momentary flurry of really bad coverage. I'm sure that that flurry of coverage will come back once the independent report comes out. Certainly some news coming out yesterday with Adrian Peterson not shining a light on, uh, on what's going on in the NFL. But I think what the NBA needs to really be weary of is LeBron James is in Cleveland. Kevin Durant is in Oklahoma City. Those are not big TV markets. Not at for, all. For these TV deals to really take hold. Now, they're going to be paid no matter what. But in terms of the ratings and in terms of keeping advertisers happy, the Knicks need to make a resurgence. Kobe and the Lakers in L.A. need to make a resurgence. The Chicago Bulls need to rise to prominence because big teams in big TV markets will lead to bigger ratings. Well, guess what? The Knicks are not going to resurge. <laughs> and I love the Knicks, but I just don't see it happening. Look, let's talk about the players because, you know, they're, they're really profiting from this, too. We talk mm -hmm. about LeBron James, but all oh, of the yeah. blue chip players mm -hmm. will profit as a result of this deal. Tell us how. Players that have good agents like LeBron James, when he moved back to Cleveland, two-year deal. Everyone was saying, why only a two-year deal? Well, he was thinking ahead to this contract for the TV rights. He has an opt-out after those two years. Revenue is split between the players and, and the league. There may be a lockout because they could renegotiate the Players Association deal with the NBA in 2016-17, just when this deal kicks into effect. In essence, the salary cap could potentially rise $15, $20 million. Those are going to be $15, $20 million for each team that are going to player salaries. And guess what happens? The fans are paying for it. The fans are paying for it, and fans that don't even want to watch are paying for it because ESPN is tacking on to their cable deal. Turner, TNT, these are going to be showing up in the run-of-the-mill fan who doesn't want anything to do with the NBA, but you're going to be seeing it in that bottom line of the well, cable. Well, we got about 30 seconds left, but i got to tell you, that's really not good. I don't know if I like that. That's why people like to go to this a la carte system where if you want ESPN, if you want TNT, if you want your regional cable networks, but... Cable sports and, and rights fees for sports are really what's driving things. It's the only thing that's DVR proof. All right, we've run out of time. I'm going to do something here a blind pass. Mike Baker, thank you so much. Thank you. Tomorrow on Exchange, we'll have the complete coverage of the International Monetary Fund's meeting in D.C., where finance ministers and